fella. We can be that mistake. Let's do this. Hello, everybody. Hey, guys. We're Embrace the Suck 21. Yes, we are. I'm Spencer. And I'm Daniel. And I don't know why I'm talking like this. <laughs> I just was at the beginning. But anyway, yeah. we're going to react to Ricky Gervais. Golden Globes 2020. Mm -hmm. um, believe it or not, we don't watch this shit. No. Like, a, a lot of these... Uh, shows, award the award shows, the Golden Globes, the Grammys, the Emmys, they're just the, the industry celebrating themselves. Yeah. Even the Shorty Awards for YouTube and all that. I mean, maybe one day we'll get big enough to get one of them, but I'm not I'm not banking on it. We're just going to do what we do best and just have fun I would, with it. I would love to see us at one of these because <laughs> we wouldn't give a fuck. Yeah. Like... <laughs> it's like it's like when we were to Liam Gallagher, uh, and he he was accepting the award, and he just went and uh, get this this award. He's like, oh, like nobody can take Oasis off this stage, and then he just stands up and he starts to just put it right yeah there. on his butt. Yeah, 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 man. And then, um, yeah, man. I just I, I I feel like we're too real to be that fake. Yeah, yeah. So and and I know uh, like the Tom Hanks being like. Like That's that came out of that. Yeah. So, I, I, we we we've we know Ricky Gervais. We know yeah. he doesn't give any flying and, fucks. And, and and it's it's interesting because UK comedians aren't really ever censored. No. And when they come here, you can't do that. Right. And not in the room where and, censorship comes from. Yes, exactly. <laughs> not in the room where all the shit, the cancel culture resides right there in that room. <laughs> like, God damn. Uh, oh, talk about eggshells, man. Yeah. Fuck the eggshells. Let's yeah, just man. watch it. Let's do it. Hello and welcome to the 77th Annual Golden Globe Awards, live from the Beverly Hilton Hotel here in Los Angeles. I'm Ricky Gervais, thank you. Um, you'll, you'll be pleased to know this is the last time I'm hosting these awards, so <laughs> I don't care anymore. Um, I'm joking, I never did. Um, NBC clearly don't care either, fifth time. So, I mean, Kevin Hart, was fired from the Oscars because of some offensive tweets. Hello. <laughs> Lucky for me, the Hollywood foreign press can barely speak English, and they've no idea what Twitter is, so I got offered this gig by fax. So let's go out with a bang. Let's have a laugh at your expense, shall we? Remember, they're just jokes. We're all going to die soon, and there's no sequel. So... <laughs> Already a joke that did not age well. Oh, <laughs> We're man. all going to die soon. This was right before COVID happened. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, I mean, obviously he didn't know that at the time. Yes. Which is the, the pitfall that a lot of comics fall into. They didn't know it was offensive at the time. And then 10 years later, they got canceled for it. Like Kevin Hart. Like, yeah, like for a tweet in 2012 or something. Yeah, like he, Get out of here listen, with that shit. Man, like. God, dude. Are people not allowed to get better and better themselves over and, time? And, like, I remember Kevin Hart was on top of everything. He was in everything. Mm hmm And now he's barely, he barely has a special that he filmed in his basement in his house. Yeah. Like, fuck. What? How the mighty have fallen because of cancel culture. Yep. Yeah. Remember that. Um... <laughs> But you all look lovely, all doled up. You came here in your limos. I came here in a limo tonight, and the license plate was made by Felicity Huffman. So, no, shush. It's her, it's her daughter I feel sorry for, OK? That must be the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to her. And her dad was in Wild Hogs. So, <laughs> lots of big celebrities here tonight. I mean, legends, icons, yeah? Look, this table alone. Uh, Al Pacino, 
Robert De Niro. But <laughs> Baby Yoda. Uh, oh, that's, that's Joe Pesci, sorry. Um, <laughs> I love you, man. Don't have me whacked. Um, but tonight isn't just about the people in front of camera. In this room are some of the most important TV and film executives in the world. People from every background, but they all have one thing in common. They're all terrified of Ronan Farrow. What? He's coming for you. He's coming for you. <laughs> Look, talking of all you perverts, it was a big year. It... <laughs> I can tell you've never seen this. <laughs> uh, Dude. Oh, man. He's, he's pulling no punches. This is his last one. He knows. He doesn't have any fucks to give. Yeah, man. Good for him. Yeah. Good for him. Put these guys in their place, man. Yeah. Shit. It was a big year for pedophile movies. Um, surviving R. Kelly. Leaving Neverland. Two Popes. <laughs> Shut up. Shut <laughs> up. I don't care. I don't care. Many talented people of color were snubbed in major categories. Um, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that. The Hollywood foreign press are all very, very racist. So, fifth time. So, we were going to do an in memoriam this year, but when I saw the list of people that had died, it wasn't diverse enough. It just, no. <laughs> He doesn't care. No. Oh. <clears throat> the people in the audience are not normal enough to understand his jokes. Right, right. They're too high and mighty. Like, uh huh. And, and and like, I just I, just listening to people who are like, been on. I I hate to say you know Joe Rogan because he's had his problems too yeah. and his biases, but all the times he's interviewed, like, actors who made it out of Hollywood, like, it's like, a lot of these people, like, they speak out in public on, like, environmental issues, political issues, not because they care, but because the directors feel that way, and that might give them an edge on trying to get a role. Yeah. So, it... it, 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 it... So, like, yeah, the, you say, like, they're out of touch... Like, as someone that, you know, a lot of times lines up with their political views, like, I don't like it when people who were in, like, one movie or had a hit, like, feel they need to ram that down people's throats, yeah. their, their political feelings. Like, you're not the... Who asked you? Yeah. Nobody. Yeah. Nobody asked you. And, and no one should care. Yeah. Everyone has their own... <clears throat> My thing is, they are too pompous to understand this is comedy. Right, right. That this is comedy. They, they are, because are, comedy is not their thing. These right. are all actors. Right, right. Not, they are playing a role. They are not, they're being somebody else. Yeah. Which, I mean, as an actor, you know, you put your own stamp on your own, on the character that you're playing. But at the same time, they are acting as other people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they, they, they are they are too pompous to understand, and plus he is too. Ricky, the, the, he's, he's Ricky fucking Gervais. Yeah, the British hate on their own football team when they're sucking. Yeah, they make old he chants. He is hating on them, giving them flack yeah. for being them. Mm -hmm. And there there's no way this connects. Yeah. And he's even joking, like you know he. About the lack of diversity, like and he's on the death list, on the death list, and <laughs> the fact that he has hosted it like the several last seven years, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah. So this is awesome. So he's even joking about himself. Yeah, like he's nobody is off the table, not even himself. Yeah. It was mostly white people, and I thought, nah, not on my watch. So <laughs> maybe next year. Let's let's see what happens. <laughs> Again, outdated oh, joke. Oh, man. If only they knew yep. <laughs> what was around the corner. Oh, yeah. 
No one cares about movies anymore. No one goes to the cinema. No one really watches network TV. Everyone's watching Netflix. This show should just be me coming out going, well done, Netflix, you win everything. Good night. But no, no, we've got to drag it out for three hours. You could binge watch the entire first season of Afterlife instead of watching this show. That, that's a show about a man who wants to kill himself because his wife dies of cancer. And it's still more fun than this, OK? <laughs> Spoiler alert, um, season two is on the way. So in the end, he obviously didn't kill himself. Just like Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, we got right it. Now, you know, you know who he's talking to is the audience that's watching him. Yes. He doesn't give a shit about the people in that room. Right, he's wa- he's talking to the audience. Yeah. He's not talking to the industry. Yeah, he's Don't not talking to people there. himself. Just like Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> Shut up. I know he's your friend, but I don't care. <laughs> Like, <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Oh, man. Uh, Everyone felt that one. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, did you watch the Epstein documentary on Netflix? Oh, no. Yeah, it, just, it, it, it's it, pretty eye-opening. I just know he's he was trash. He and, was, and, yeah. And yeah. death isn't... Death wasn't even the right... He he deserved worse than death. Oh, yeah, yeah. So... You had to make your own way here and your own plane, didn't you? Right. But m- seriously, most films are awful, lazy, remakes, sequels. I've heard a rumor that there might be a sequel to Sophie's Choice. I mean, that'd just be Meryl Streep going, well, it's got to be this one then. <laughs> <laughs> All the best actors have jumped to Netflix and HBO, you know, and the actors who just do Hollywood movies now do fantasy adventure nonsense. They wear masks and capes and really tight costumes. Their job isn't acting anymore. It's going to the gym twice a day and taking steroids, really. Have we got, a, have we got an award for most ripped junkie? No. <laughs> no point. We know he'd win that. Um, Martin Scorsese, the greatest living director, made the news for his controversial comments about the Marvel franchise. He said they're not real cinema and uh, they remind him of theme parks. I agree. Although I don't know what he's doing hanging around theme parks. He's not big enough to go on the rides, is he? (laughs) Tiny. (laughs) Right. The Irishman was amazing. It was amazing. Um, Yes, it was amazing. Have you seen it? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, It was long. It was very long. Like... All right, so Holly's into the the mob movies with her being Italian. Oh yeah. yeah. So so yeah, I watched it. She liked it. It was good acting. I just it wasn't it for me, man. No. It, it was a good movie. Uh, it just like I was almost at the edge of my seat the whole movie. Almost. It was like one of those. I'm like almost there. Yeah. You know, but I mean, hey, whatever. It was it was a great movie though. Right. I, I, yeah. I will I can admit that it was full of great actors. Uh-huh. It was great acting, great effects. Right. Like right. what they did with Robert De Niro. Oh yeah. Like making yeah, him yeah. look young. Uh huh. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Anyway. And and the uh, phrase I heard you paint houses. Yeah. That's one I use a lot. Not that I need to, or do I? <laughs> that, it was. My, my, it was great. Uh, long, but amazing. Um, it wasn't the only epic movie. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, nearly three hours long, Leonardo DiCaprio attended the premiere, and by the end, his date was too old for him. So... <laughs> Go, oh, Ricky, go! No one's safe. Oh. <laughs> Even Prince Andrew's like, come on, Leo, mate, you know. <laughs> you're nearly 50, son. Um, the world got to see James Corden as a fat pussy. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, God, no, 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 no. <laughs> you don't call James Corden that. Oh. Mm. He was also in the movie Cats, but oh, no oh okay. I was, 
I was thinking something completely different. <laughs> or that. Um, and the reviews. Oh, shocking. I saw one that said, this is the worst thing to happen to cats since dogs. Right? <laughs> <laughs> But Dame Judi Dench defended the film, saying it was the role she was born to play, because she... I can't do this next joke. <laughs> because she loves nothing better than plonking herself down on the carpet, lifting her leg, oh. and licking her own minge. <laughs> no! Whoa, dude. You're gonna make it, man. We gotta get through this. That's funny shit, man. Man. <laughs> Furble. Furble. She's old school. Um, it's the last time. Who cares? Oh. Apple roared into the, the TV game with a morning show. A superb drama. Yeah. A Cook. superb drama about the importance of dignity and doing the right thing, made by a company that runs sweatshops in China. So, well, you say you're woke, but the companies you work for, I mean, unbelievable. Apple, Amazon, Disney. If ISIS started a streaming service, you'd call your agent, wouldn't you? So, if you do win an award tonight, don't use it as a, a platform to make a political speech, right? You're in no position to lecture the public about anything. You know nothing about the real world. Most of you spent less time in school than Greta Thunberg. So, if you win, right, come up, accept your little award, thank your agent and your god, and fuck off. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> so... Woo! <sighs> That's just what we were saying earlier. You know nothing about the real world. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Yeah. Unless <laughs> unless you actually work in these fields. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's already three hours long. Oh wait, 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 We gotta we just gotta pause it on the, the Tom it's Hanks. It's already one. three hours long. There it is. Yep, there it is. Is that Keith Urban in the back? Yeah, that's Keith Urban. Is that Anna Geyser? I I I From uh Step Brothers and Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that other stuff. Because you know Keith Urban is married to Nicole Kidman. Yeah. So, oh, he so obviously like, he has reasons to be. country singer doing in the, like, oh, bro, wrong place. They're both from Australia. So that's, I, I, I don't know, guess they're both in America and they need, need some common grounds. So, hey, yeah. it worked for them. So they're still together. Song. Right, let's do the first award. The first award. The first award is for best actor in a television series, musical or comedy. To present the award are a couple of actors off the telly. What can I say? Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon. Okay, now we're getting into the cutaways now. Yeah. In a little while, we're gonna see a, a short clip from The Irishman. Um, it's 88 minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> In the meantime, here are Sofia Vergara and Matt Bomer. Welcome back. Still having a good time? Good. As you know, the meal tonight was all vegetables, as are the members of the Hollywood Foreign Press. <laughs> Please welcome their president, Lorenzo Soria. <laughs> Knives Out has three nominations tonight. Yeah. See what can happen if you don't dress people up as cats. It's, it's that easy. <laughs> Here are two of the nominated stars, Anna de Armas and Daniel Craig. I've got nothing negative to say about these next two presenters because the big one could snap me in half. So please welcome Zoe Kravitz and Jason Momoa. <laughs> <laughs> At least he knew. Kill me. We're nearly done. Jeez. Three, it's already three. Right, um, last one, last one. Come on, guys. Our next presenter starred in Netflix's Bird Box, a movie where people survive by acting like they don't see a thing. 
Sort of like working for Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> ah! You did it. You, I didn't. You did it. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Please welcome Sandra Bullock. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh man! That's it. Good night. Thank you. Please donate to Australia. Have a great time. Get drunk. Take your drugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Go, Ricky, man. Go. That was the best. I would. <laughs> oh, I would watch that. I would watch that. Anything that Ricky Gervais is. Is is hosting? We're we're watching it now. Yeah. I will bring. I will come over to your house. Yeah. I'm ordering us a bunch of pizzas and getting a bunch of yeah. beers, and we're we're gonna drink. <laughs> we're gonna shotgun one every time he says something risque. That's that's awesome. We'll be so hammered by the time it is time. <laughs> it's like he, he he's working for a job he doesn't want to do anymore. Yeah. That's yeah. what it was. That's awesome. Oh shit! This froze up. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we thought the video cut out, but it didn't. Uh, it didn't. After after comments um, um, or, that we haven't said already, um, uh, I made the joke about uh, beer and all that. But oh yeah, yeah. I, I think that's it. Let this, us know more this, Ricky Gervais that we should we should work this look out. Was funny. Yeah, it was this funny. This is funny as shit, man. Yeah, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> well, we still can. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing, hitting the bell, sharing with your friends. With your friends. Till next time, wash your hands, scrub your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose. And embrace the sucks. See y'all next time.